hey guys my name is Modi, and you're welcome to Modi speaks today we're going to be looking at this video from this black american man i must say that i'm happy <laughs> that this video is coming from a foundational black american man okay because they always tell me that my views does not count since i am african today we're going to be looking at this video where this bona fide black american brother narrates his experience at a particular pop eyes comparing his treatment from when the fast food used to have a majority black employees to now that they have an all spanish employees let's watch so for years this popeye location on mccoy in orlando florida uh, had all black employees on uh, say the road all black employees for years you come here you knew the order was gonna be fucked up uh, the food mediocre lukewarm the attitude at the little drive through was gonna be city you knew all this stuff when you came here, so you had to come and you had to prepare yourself. Well, one day I came in here and all the black, my complexion people was gone. And it was replaced by all Spanish people. Now usually, I say, oh, my people losing their job. But in this instance, right, this McCoy location in Orlando, Florida, replaced all them black employees. They replaced all the black employees at this location with Spanish employees and now it's some of the best fucking customer service I've ever received I said do you have any black contenders she said no but I will make some you know what them black employees used to tell us when we would come in here and say hey you out of this well that's it for today so salute to Popeyes um, for firing all the people that didn't want to work and hiring some hard working Spanish folks um, that are busting their ass in here um, to do a job and they actually look the part of the job. Um, and I've been coming to this location for 10 years. Ne the food's never been as good as it is now. Now I'm going to speak like my black American homies. Is he tripping? Is he tripping? Is he tripping? Well, of course he's not. He is spitting facts. And don't shoot me this time. I am just the messenger, okay? I am merely showing you what that black brother had to say. I might be discredited if I say it, but maybe they would do better if they hear it from someone who shares a lot with them. Dear black people, we need to do better, okay? This man just voiced out what so many people from other demographics might be wanting to say for a long time, but cannot because they don't want to be demonized. Everybody have been noticing how some of us interact with customers and generally handle ourselves in our workplace. I used to have these discussions in private with my good friend and I will always tell her that I prefer being attended to in any establishment by another African immigrant or a non-black person. The quality of service is always excellent and welcoming whenever a non-black person attends to me, okay? Especially in these fast foods. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't nice black people working in Popeyes or other fast food chains. Of course, there are, but the truth remains that most of them have a very nasty attitude towards their job and it manifests in so many ways. It shows in the way they interact with the customers, the quality of the food they serve you, the willingness and the patience to answer your questions, their entire attitude and demeanor during the interactions, the manner in which they serve you your food and so much more. What happens in most cases is that some of these black people who handle their job with the right approach end up getting corrupted by those nasty ones and in no time, they all become nasty too. Now, try walking into a Chick-fil-A or even a Popeyes with non-black employees, okay? You would enjoy the money you spend in there, ranging from the warm greeting they give you when you're coming in to the respectful way they serve you your food to the quality of food you receive. You would want to come back next time, but then do the same thing to a majority black employee's fast food. Say you walk into Chipotle or KFC that has an all-black employee or majority black employees Odds are you would be hit by the difference in the quality of service. In fact, the look on some of their faces before you even enter, as you're entering to place your order, you might be rethinking your decision to even come and eat there in the first place. Sometimes it feels like coming into the restaurant to order food is kind of like a disturbance to them, okay? If you're unlucky that day, you might end up not getting half the stuff you plan to eat simply because they do not have it available. It is not available. And if you ever find yourself having a verbal altercation with these black employees, then be ready to be screamed on, shouted on, and disrespected beyond repair. That reminds me of this video I came across a while back where a black waitress was screaming at a customer because the customer wanted Sprite. 
instead of water. Y'all want in a watery fall with one of y'all waters. And how am I supposed to know you want to spray? Just like she told me she wanted to, just like they told me they wanted to bounce, she told me she wanted that blessed little sweetheart. If you want to spray, I, I can't read your mind. I came over here many times back and forth. I came over here back and forth many times trying to figure out what he wanted. Was it day free or anything? I came back over here many times. Went with my son. Yeah, exactly. This is the type of treatment you are giving in this fast food with majority black employees. Like she said, she doesn't care, okay? She does not care if the customer returns to patronize the business again. She doesn't care. Again, she doesn't care if she embarrasses herself in the presence of so many customers. She wouldn't even bother getting the sprites the customer requested for. Look at her storming out of the place. I mean, what is the big deal? These people actually prayed for a job and they got to get the job. But they don't even want to carry out their duties they don't even want to do what they are being paid to do this is really bad okay really really bad we need to do better it is really important that we have this discussion so that we can get rid of this problematic pattern okay the united states is completely overrun with illegal immigrants and refugees so don't forget that resources are low and decent jobs in fact are extremely difficult to come by okay if you keep up this nasty work pattern then it wouldn't be long before you start having yourselves being replaced by illegal immigrants okay and remember i am just a messenger so don't shoot me okay i am telling you what this black brother brought to our table anyway guys thanks for watching this video and you are welcome to drop your comments in the comment section below but do so respectfully if you enjoyed this video and would love to support my channel consider joining my membership this is not compulsory anyway it is all up to you also like and share this video to keep people informed and hope to catch you on my next video for now Peace.